What's up guys, it's Raf in the Raf Cave. Welcome back to another unboxing and setup video. And this is gonna be a video for my PC, which I love dearly. Made a ton of videos on it, check them out. And there was something that was missing after the fans I put in, the LED strips, the, the M2 memory, all that stuff. Looking at my PC, there is that GPU plate that on top looks a little rough, right? A lot of circuits, a lot of little things going on up there and it wasn't really gelling with the interior of my uh, PC. So I'm thinking there's gotta be something out there that would be really cool to add. And lo and behold, I'm scrolling through Instagram and something pops up and there's a GPU backplate, RGB, that goes right on top of your GPU, covers it up with amazing designs and RGB and effects and all that stuff. And that would be absolutely perfect for my PC to finalize it and finish it. To look in there and see something glorious like that, it was a must have for my PC. So I ordered one from B1 Tech. It was a great process. It asked you what GPU you had, the model number stuff, and they custom make the backplate. I mean, custom, perfect. And I also did some research of how easy it is to install and the cables they give you in here would blend into your motherboard, blend into your Corsair IQ software, so it all gels and blends in together. It's supposed to be a super easy installation, and I can't wait to get this installed, guys. It's gonna be sick. So, I bought this with my harder money, guys. It wasn't sent to me, but I wanna put this out on my channel to promote what a cool, cool thing this is for your PC. So, without further ado, guys, let's get this unboxed, look what's inside, and then Get it in there and see how awesome it's gonna look. All right, let's get it. All right, guys, let's get this unboxed. You know what time it is. Black pin. Super excited for this piece. And I ordered this the day after Christmas and it just came in. They've been pretty busy. I'm just thankful that it has arrived. Good packaging, appreciate that. All right, nice, nice packaging, very good. All right, two different plates. Okay, two different packages. All right, first one's gonna be, looks like all our cables and cords. Check that out, you get tons of good stuff here. Wow, check all this out, guys. Very cool. So, looks like we've got the, the Corsair IQ software. And it says, you know, motherboard, Gigabyte Fusion, very nice. This one here is a RF SATA cable. That's cool, so that just goes into your uh, one of your power ports. Looks like these are uh, the magnetic plates that go on the GPU. Look at this. Some kind of stickers on here. I'm not sure what these are for. Look at this nice remote though, guys. So if you don't have any hookups for your software, you can just actually turn it on, on and off manually and pick your color and stuff. Very neat. Wow, you even get color printout. That's rare. Very nice. So there's your uh, instruction manual here. Pretty cool. Check that out. Tells you exactly what to do. Even a back page here. Very nice installation guide. All different types of uh, connections. I like that. Very, very easy, user-friendly. I like that a lot. All right, let's get to the main event here. My custom GPU plate. Now for my PC, I have a, well, how nice of V1 to give me some starburst. Isn't that sweet? I have a uh, 2070 Super. So I had this custom made, as you can see, oh my goodness. Oh man, are you ready guys? Oh man, yo, that is sick. I love it, I love it. Wow, that's crazy, look at that. RGB strip in the back, beautiful colors. The dark side, the fader. He will go into my PC 
It's gonna look so good. All right, guys, that's amazing. It looks awesome. There's your connector here. Very, very great. Oh, can't wait. All right, guys, let's get this installed. Oh, man, let's go. The PC un un uninstalled, unhooked, and sitting here nice and ready. Got the, uh, the plate off in the front, plate off in the back. Now, according to the instructions, there's a couple of different things to do. You can use the adhesive only if you want more of a permanent thing, or you can use the uh, magnets. And they give you eight magnets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the eight, eight screws that I think will balance it out most. That's going to be one here, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight in the back. And we'll just leave these two middle ones alone. So what you do then, you, know, you got your magnets here, you got eight of them. And then you got your adhesive. So we're going to put one adhesive per magnet. And we're going to put all eight of them here. And then once you have those placed, then you take that little tape off. Okay, peel the tape off and then it's exposed. And that's when you take your plate. And we're going to set it. And then press it down. That way it sticks. And then, if you want to lift it up, you just lift it up because the magnet, magnets are already there. So you can put it down whenever you want to put it back. Now, I, I opted for the magnets because I want to have a little more space from the, the GPU plate and the, uh, and, the, and the plate itself. A little bit of a gap. I want that a little bit extra. All right, guys. So I'm going to get started, put that on there, and then we'll go from there. Be right back. Hey, guys. I'll show you here. Peel this guy off. Take a magnet. Then stick it there. And I'm going to put these on the GPU where I want the card to stick to. All right, so I have all eight magnets on the spot that I want to put it. So I'm just going to peel off the, the sticky tape peel off that red tape and just carefully put this on top and then press down and that'll stick it to those magnets and that'll be a secure fit. All right, be right back. All the red uh, tape off the back of the magnets. So now I'm ready to place, place the card on top. So it's a good idea to put it on a couple times just to kind of get used to where you, where you can set it. We only do this once now. Try to align the front first. We want that nice edge to line up. All right, there it is. Back plate's on. So now it's left now is to hook up the wire. And we'll do that now. All right. Okay, guys, so for my installation, I did some research and it looks like that my Corsair IQ won't work with this particular setup because I don't have the Commander Pro or enough ports on mine, my hub. So we're gonna go down to the five volt mother, uh, motherboard cable. So what we got is the cable hooked up here. And what I have is a uh, RGB hub for the motherboard itself, which is here. And there happens to be an extra port in the back that I have the motherboard five point uh, or five volt cable going into right back here uh, because my uh, Corsair hub is not gonna it's not compatible I have to use see my mine's already being used right now so I can't use those and this is just a hub not a doesn't work anyway so that's why there's options right so I'm gonna use this guy right there and uh, we're all good so I'm gonna get all put back together we're gonna turn it on and see the magic happen on this amazing Let's go. All right, guys, we have the PC put back in its spot, ready to power it up for the first time. And let's see the GPU backplate in action. All right, guys, let's go. Oh, baby. Yo, that looks so good. The dark side. Damn. I love it. Look at that. It's glowing. Beautiful. 
Now that finally completes the package of the Raft Cave PC. Beautiful. Man, that's cool. That's so cool. V1 Tech, thank you for making this product. I am a happy customer. Damn, perfectly fit. Beautiful. All right, Raft Gang, thanks for watching this video. Whew, it looks amazing. There it is, Raft Cave PC 100% done. I love it. All right, guys, smash the like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Home Theater Rules. And this, this PC is beast. Yeah. All right, Cave. Peace out. Bye.